YouTube, it's the kid YJ in this bit, man. And today we have the beloved car tour. As y'all boys can see, man, this is the beauty right here. You feel me? This right here is the Genesis Coupe. I did buy this car a couple months ago. I bought it all the way back in October 2022. If y'all was tapped into my second channel I had at the time, I did tell y'all about it. With that being said, let's just get into it. As y'all boys can see, first things first, when you look at it, the bumper's black, the hood's black, the roof is wrapped, carbon fiber, got the black there, black there, black there. I painted them the first time. They were originally silver when I bought it. And as y'all can see, winter destroyed them. So I do got to paint those up. As we walk around the car, we do got the quad tip exhaust. We got the quad tip exhaust and we got the rear view camera. As we can see, the pipes are titanium and they get super hot. And then as we keep going, man, this used to be a spoiler back here, but took it off. It was absolutely huge. I don't like those huge spoilers. And then we go to the front and as y'all boys can see, man, my splitter did break. Unfortunately, I will be having to get that done. Side, y'all boys will see that a bit is a little dirty. I ain't gonna lie, but we got the red floor mat. We got the blue on the steering wheel. I didn't actually do this, and we got blue there, and we got blue there. But a lot, and I mean a lot of the stuff done on the car was done before I bought it. Things like the suspension, as y'all boys can see, the car is lowered, but I didn't do any of that stuff. But getting on in, man, as y'all boys can see, we do got the Genesis with the paddle shifters. There is Apple CarPlay. That's something I did put into it. And I'm gonna put some B-roll on the screen on the interior lighting. Oh my gosh. The interior lighting is what makes the car. The ambient lighting is absolutely insane. And y'all boys can't see it now, but we do have stars in the roof. Sunroof, of course, we got the sunroof. And we got actual stars on the roof. Again, I'm gonna show y'all B-roll on that. There is absolutely no room in the back seat. I personally have nothing back here. Um, I have a basketball. I got travel first aid kit. Just the simple things like getting your battery jumped or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? If you have a flat tire, you need to repump it, things like that. Coming over to the trunk. Again, y'all boys gotta see it, but usually it lights up all blue and it's fire. Now, in my trunk isn't nothing special. I got the shoes I go to the forest with all the time, so. The hose is dirty as hell. These are my old work shoes. I don't know why I still have them in the car. When I was at Amazon and I was working nine to five shifts, I ain't gonna lie, I did have this car, but before that I worked at Walmart and I remember I was wearing steel toes just like these and I was walking every day to work. So to now have something like this is absolutely insane. But other than that, we is in, we is in Canada, so we got the little shovel cleaner thing. We got some coolant, we got some ball shoes. We got an old towel and then we got a regular blanket again for emergency purposes. If I need a blanket, my car breaks down or something. I'm in the middle of the road and it's minus 50 degrees. Shoot, we got us a blanket. As y'all boys know, bro, I always tell y'all hand sanitizer and just have a cologne in your car just in case. Um, you don't know. As y'all boys can see, I got my hoop shoes. You don't know if you need a hoop or you're sweating. So you got to stay prepared at all times. This right here is the 2.0 TD. Y'all always can see the stars a little bit more. I personally did these stars myself. Like I took out the roof liner. This was originally tan. You know how it's like that tannish grayish color and I painted it black myself. I did the wiring. I did the stars all myself. Stuff like that is actually pretty simple to do. And I'm telling y'all boys, do it yourself. Otherwise you're paying someone a thousand dollars to do this. But y'all boys let me know down in the comment section. I found out how to put stars in the sunroof. Should I put stars in the sunroof? I'm really thinking about it. Or I'm thinking about just getting a whole new headliner without a sunroof so I can have just stars. Y'all boys, let me know. Y'all boys can hear the turbos, man. Those things do sound absolutely insane on the highway. The only thing I don't like about it is the turbo lag. Turbo lag is annoying as hell. Now, just like the title says, man, this right here was my 16 year old dream car. I remember when I first found out about this car, it was a car that I could relatively see myself in. Now we all have dream cars of like Lambos and McLarens and all the top notch cars. But for me, I wanted to dream about something that was actually obtainable at the time. And at the time I was in high school, didn't have no type of job, didn't have no money. Of course I was doing my little reselling thing, but at the time when I first found out about this car, 
I wasn't making money for real, you know what I'm saying? So I couldn't afford it. But you know what I'm saying? I was telling my peoples and I was telling everyone around me, like, yo, I'm finna go get that car. I'm finna go get that car. I'm finna go get that car. And some people believed in me and some people didn't. Something about me is when I want something, I do all the research on it and I get to know everything about it. So I was telling people about the car and whatnot. It got to a point where people were saying, man, you always talk about that car, but you don't have one. And as soon as I heard that, bro, I started grinding my ass off, especially when my old car broke down, bro. I was working at Walmart at the time, working three to 11, taking the bus or walking two miles to Walmart. There was some times, man, especially when I was trying to save up, man, I was walking two miles to and from work, three to 11 shifts, but I made it work, man. November, 2022, I bought my dream car as a 16 year old. And now, you know what I'm saying? I do want to build it some more and really like fully customize it. I really am excited for that. But this is just something I wanna show y'all because one, y'all boys see me in the car all the time and I haven't shown it to y'all. And two, it's just something to tell y'all boys like, yo, this stuff is really possible. Like I'm really in your shoes. Somebody commented on my video saying I am a YouTuber. I forgot who said it. I see myself as a regular person. Of course I am a YouTuber in sense, but I feel more like a regular person than a YouTuber. I don't feel that Hollywood stuff. I don't feel like I'm up here or whatever. So with that being said, I feel like I'm the perfect example to tell you like, bro, go grind and whatever you want in this life, bro, God willing, you can have it as long as you just put in the work and do what you got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Let this be a witness, bro. This is the first of many to come. You know what I'm saying? I'm really excited to build this car. As y'all can see, this car is not 100% how I would want it. There's still so much more I want to do, especially outward, bro. I want to put a wrap, wide body, all that stuff, bro. I want to do hella stuff with, and y'all get to come along and see me do it, man. I'm really excited. Like I always tell y'all boys though, stay down, do the work, put God before all and watch him change your life.